Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 side scroller series. In today's video we are going to be finishing off the level complete screen. We've got a couple of things we need to do. So first things first, we actually need to get the return to menu button working. So having said that we've got to add in the button into the widget and we've also got to set up the functionality. In addition to that, I've also got to proceed to create the main menu level for us guys to be able to link back to. Okay, so let's go ahead and import the return to menu button. If you guys haven't got it already, just go ahead and download the latest version of the resources and you will get this. So go ahead and import it into the engine. From here, we, need, we now need to go ahead and open up our level complete widget. And we need to pretty much bring this in. We don't want to be using an image for it as we can't create an on-clicked event. So we actually need to go up to button, drag it in, and then we need to go ahead and add it in. When it comes to working with buttons, we've got to actually set the appearance for three things. The normal state, the hovered state, and the press state. This is pretty much telling the engine how it's going to look for each one of these. So we need to go into normal, and then we need to go ahead, go ahead and tell this to set it to be return to menu. And we need to set the margin to zero so that it doesn't add anything, any extras around the edge or anything like that. And we need to go through and do the same thing for hovered as well. And we're just going to go ahead and type in return to menu, set the margin down to zero, and then do the same thing for the pressed as well. So margin to zero, and then return to menu. However, because we want to give the player a little bit of feedback when they're actually hovering over the button, we are going to give this a slightly yellow tint. So I'm just going to go ahead and add the yellow tint on here, and you can see a little preview on the right hand side as well of that happening. I don't want this to be too much, so I'm just going to bring it a little bit more towards the white, and there you are. And I'm going to go ahead and press OK, and then I'm just going to go ahead and stretch out my text to make it fit. So there you are, return to menu, and that should be our button looking all good. I'm going to move it up a bit, but there you are. I'm going to go ahead and compile this now, and I'm going to press play, and we're just going to make sure the hover effect is working just fine. So if I go ahead and move my mouse over it, you can see it's now going slightly yellow, and that is great. Cool. So we need to add a little bit of functionality for this now. So we need to go ahead and create the main menu level for us to link it to. So go ahead and create a new level. Just use the empty level template for now. And then we are going to save this level. So go to file, save current, and then we're just going to call this main menu level. And then just go ahead and press save. Give it a moment and then proceed to open up the normal level again, which is just side scroller example. Make sure you keep both of these in the same folder as it can mess things up when you come when you, when it comes to linking these two levels. Once we've done this, we need to go ahead and pretty much tell that button what to do when we press it. So open up the widget, go to graph and then not into the graph, go into the design view, click the button, scroll down all the way down to the bottom and we can create some events. The event that we're going to be using is called on clicked. So this pretty much allows us to fire off a little bit of script when the player presses this button. So go ahead and create this on clicked event. And then from here, we're just going to drag it out and we're just going to tell it to open a level. And the level for that is going to be main menu level. Make sure you guys spell this 100% correct. Otherwise it will break the game and it's just going to shut the game down completely. So I'm going to go ahead and compile this and I'm going to give this a go. So if I press play, run through this, and then if I go ahead and press return to menu, it takes us onto the black screen and that is the main menu level. That is working great. Cool. Um, there is one other thing that we do need to do and that is pretty much just get rid of the heads up display when you've got the user interface on the screen. But that is going to be for another video. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave the video here. Thanks for watching. Make sure you stay tuned, stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out.